Hello and welcome. The mathematical symbol of today is the binomial coefficient, written with parentheses. And there, at the top, we find an integer n, and at the bottom, an integer k. Now, usually, you read this binomial coefficient as n choose k. We do this because it represents the number of possibilities to choose k elements from a fixed set with n elements. Here, I always think it's a good idea to visualize this with an example. So here you see, we have 7 bolts, so n is equal to 7. And now I tell you, we take 3 of them out, so k is equal to 3. Here, maybe one possibility would be to get 2, 3 and 6. And please note here, there is no order involved, so we take them out with one pick. Of course, still, there are a lot of other examples, maybe 5, 6 and 7. And now the question the binomial coefficient answers is how many possibilities there are. Therefore, I would suggest trying to calculate them. So here you see three empty slots that we can fill in with numbers. Now, if we just take out one ball, then we could have any number here in the first position. Hence, counting the possibilities, we have exactly n here. Then for the second position, we take out another ball. However, now the first ball is already gone, so we have exactly n-1 numbers. And finally, for the third position, n-2 numbers remain. Now, multiplying these numbers gives us exactly the possibilities for filling in these slots with the balls here. However, then you might see, we have an order involved. Therefore, we have to divide this thing here by the number of orders we have for these slots. Indeed, the reasoning now is similar to before. If you want to rearrange the first ball, the first slot, you have three positions to choose. Then for the second, only two remain, and for the last one, only one remains. And with this, we have it. This is what the binomial coefficient should do. So in general, here we would have n times n minus 1, times n minus 2, and so on, until we reach n minus k plus 1. So you should see, this is the generalization of our example. And moreover, then we would find k factorial in the denominator. So indeed, this is the definition of the binomial coefficient n choose k. And for the end, I can tell you, there's a shorter definition for this. Namely, we have n factorial divided by k factorial as before and also n minus k factorial. There you should see, these two parts here just cancel to get you this. Okay, so this is the binomial coefficient and I hope that you learned something today. Then, see you next time. Bye.